Second inning here at Cleveland, no score. What a treat for us. Tom Hanks joins us now here in the booth. Yeah. You've uh, been in some of the biggest movies in Hollywood. You got a couple of Oscars. You've done one man stage productions. How yeah. does the anxiety compare with throwing out a first pitch? You still never pass up a free ticket to a ball game. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the perks. It's, uh, it's what you desire. When it can be from the adopted home team, well, that's. The only thing better would be, I think, a delicious hot dog and a nice cold drink. And <laughs> we I, can, we waiter, can take care waiter, of that. I, isn't there a package that I should be promoting right now for the for the Guardians Nation? How nervous were you? I was. I've been sweating this from the moment I said I was going to do it. Yeah. There's something about it. It's been a while since my elbow has been up above my shoulder, guys. <laughs> Brandon well, you could have rolled the ball in. Well, that would have been an embarrassing thing. I, yeah. I think one of the reasons that the uh, the uh, 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 reaction was a little muted because they quite they were wondering who's this old guy with the, with that, the name <laughs> Hanks on his back. So I, I wanted to have some vim out. There. I wanted to have some zip. I like the panache. You brought Wilson out there with you. I mean, big know, fan. Little added oh, attraction. Big Guardians fan. He was he was uh, he was thrilled with the chance to come back to Cleveland. Washed ashore there on the on Euclid Beach. <laughs> <laughs> brought him along. Brought him along to the game. It's a beautiful night for baseball here yes, in, uh, in April on opening day. Yes, especially a night game. The first time we played a night game in a long time. Oh, doctor. Brandon Crawford puts the Giants on the board first tonight with a long home run into the lower deck in right field. It's his first home run of the year. If you guys want me to leave. Uh, uh, we're not superstitious. If, if that's I an know. omen. I understand. <laughs> no, no, no. This is what the Giants M.O. is. They try to score in the first two innings, and they're very good at doing that. You know, they're and he's going to hit. I'll tell you, he's going to hit a changeup, and we'll see the location. Look at the screen, and, and this is how we do it right here. See that three-finger changeup, and it was right down the middle. And the hitter usually tells you when you make a bad pitch, and he certainly did right there. And the Giants will take a one-nothing lead. As Matt, you mentioned the first home run of the year. No. Yeah. For Crawford. Now you, you said Cleveland, kind of your adopted team. You obviously spent a few formative years in your acting career here in Cleveland at the Great Lakes Theater Festival. What what did that experience do for you that you still have this uh, affinity for the city of Cleveland? I fell in love with the entire drama and the and the, the pastoral quality of the game here in Cleveland. I had been you know. My first game, when I was seven years old, I saw in Candlestick Park these very same San Francisco Giants take on the Milwaukee Braves. Oh, wow. yeah? Okay. How about that? So I saw Juan Marichal, Willie Mays, Will McCovey, and Hank Aaron wow. at a very early, but I, I didn't know what was going on. It was when I had that time to have a night off from the theater. Let's go down to the ballpark. I will sit with 475 <laughs> of my closest friends. <laughs> To watch, say the the vicious rivalry between the Cleveland Ball Club and the California Angels, say, and uh, it was there with the the drama of the game, uh, a, a decent scorecard, and the long, long night of saying, "Let's watch the game unfold." That's where I fell in love with baseball as the national pastime. Well, where'd you sit in that old ballpark? I Were you out in the bleachers? Section 19, baby. We had it all to ourselves. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Me and Clive Rosengren of the Great Lake Shakespeare Festival, we'd go out there. I was not so much of a drinking man, but he would. Uh, it was the, our biggest challenge of the night was getting a beer vendor to come up all the way to section 19. <laughs> they didn't want to make those stairs on some of those nights. Well, they only had the 3.2 beer anyway. It was no good. Ah, uh, but beer is beer, my friend. You can't beat one at <laughs> the old ballpark. But uh, that's where uh, Cleveland Municipal Lakefront Stadium, that was my first true uh, hometown regular. Let's go to the ballpark. Is nice. there a game tonight? Let's watch uh, Thunder Thornton, Andre Thunder Thornton. Uh, Mike uh, Hargrove, the human brain. This delay. guy right here in center there, field. 77, 78. Yeah. Oh, then I saw you, yeah. my friend. Piper, who, who does the San Francisco Giants games. He was a teammate of all of ours there. Uh, was. Did Toby Herrera really love wearing those socks the way he wore those? Oh, yeah, he, he did. Those pants were up high. Yes, he did. He sure Wasn't did. Isn't it funny? We were up there watching you, and we were living and dying by whether Sid, Sid Mungie was going to get in the game. <laughs> Sid Mungie, you were there. You didn't have to write that name down <laughs> no. on your hand. <laughs> no. Sudden Sid. 
Uh, but I got to say, Progressive Field, I, I was here 15 years ago on my 50th birthday with a bunch of uh, friends and uh, my kids, and this is about as gorgeous a venue for the, for the game as we're going to Yeah, uh, and that's down into the right field corner, and Steven Duggar is going to dig it out for a double. Now, once again, I'll ask, guys, do you want me to leave? No. Uh, this, Absolutely uh, what, what not. What juju have I brought to the Guardians <laughs> that's, tonight? That's only a hey, we're long way to go. The way they've been scoring runs, there's no problem. Yeah, the 29th home opener here at this ballpark, and it still looks beautiful. And you know they're going to end up doing some more renovations over the next three years here to make it even better. Can I talk about what an honor it was to throw the ball to Larry Doby Jr. Yes, as well? Yes, go right ahead. This was extraordinary. What was it? 40? What? About 45 days after uh, uh, Jackie Robinson integrated. Something like yes, similar, something along, like that. Along, I just found out because this was an American League team that Larry Doby integrated more cities because of the nature of uh, the ballparks and the ball teams uh, in an American League. Uh, than was done by the uh, Brooklyn huh. Dodgers and the uh, the, the Nationals. All six all six cities, as opposed to the multiple multiple cities of you know the the Dodgers play the uh, Giants there in New right. York. <clears throat> he would get to Cincinnati and uh, St. Louis. Yes. And uh, Mr. Doby representing. You know, he was organization. Yeah, and he was the, the, the second African American manager when he took over. Frank Robinson was the first here in 1975, and I think it was 78 when Larry yeah. Doby went to manage the White Sox. Ah, see? You know, I'm just walking around the hallways here at, uh, I, forgive me, I almost called it the Jake. Forgive me. It's okay. <laughs> it's been 15 years here at Progressive. And uh, the amount of history that is, uh, that is eliminated on the walls, illustrated on the walls down here, makes me think that. Uh, Cleveland is important a shrine to the game as any that exists in, uh, in uh, Yeah, in charter member, ball. absolutely That's right. Right. That's right. I met Herb Score. How about that? I met Herb Score once. Herbie could deal. The big left-hander. He threw as hard as anybody in baseball and, when he first came up. And he got hit in the eye. Yes. Gil McDougal of the Yankees. I almost yelled, sit down. To uh, Joey Bart, but he's not quite out yet. How do you guys keep track of all the stuff that's going on? <laughs> you guys must be professional. Very carefully. <laughs> Two down here in the second inning. Giants on the board first. They've got a runner at second. Joey Bart taking over for Buster Posey, who retired at the end of last year. Looks at a fastball outside, and as we like to say, the string is out. Okay, and now you're going to see a 3 2 slider here. He's going to go for the punch out <laughs> pitch. Are you guys clairvoyant? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going out on a limb and say that. If it's wrong, then no, he's I, I pay you. Let's. I'll find give you twenty dollars. There's a slider. Swing and a miss. Go. And that, that makes me say, sit down. <laughs> there you go. I think we have him right where we want him, guys. <laughs> Tom, thanks so much for stopping check by. Check out, check uh, it out. Great first pitch. pitch. Let me see Come it. On. There you go. Look at that four oh, seam. Oh my lord. We had that at 85 miles. Per hour. <laughs> <laughs> what a pleasure.